Hi guys, after a long thought, I've decided to actually um, print everything in the ABS for my new Voron printer. Because I thought at first I thought it was a temperature, but it's, it turns out it's actually uh, the flex in Petchy and also uh, the whist, uh, how the printer moves fast and puts pressure, constant pressure. So ABS is uh, perfect for Voron. So I'm printing out brand new parts for it. Uh, they're gonna throw the PETG away. Um, just because, you know what, I'm going to have to print more ABS. I want to actually print ABS now because um, I want to. Now, um, to print ABS on your Perusa, you're going to get a lot of, uh, what is it, warping. Right, where the ends come out when you print it without anything. Um, so, an easy way to do this is obviously uh, you want to put it in somewhere where there is enclosed. So, I'm actually at the top of this laundry room. It's literally, let me go ahead and show you. It, we're literally in this small ass room and I put the printer up up here on purpose because the uh, co the hot air collects here. And it's almost like an enclosed space. Now I don't actually recommend to put a Perusa printer in a fully containered box or uh, something that's gonna get a lot hotter. It's right now in here maybe 25 degrees to maybe like 30 degrees at most uh, Celsius. I don't know how that is, maybe, is that like 85 to 90 degrees, maybe? Yeah, maybe 85 to 90 degrees here. If you enclose it with the box, the problem is you're gonna start uh, melting all the PETG used to make a Perusa printer. These Perusa printers are not designed to be enclosed in a small box. If you do that, uh, eventually the printer is gonna break down and you're gonna have to replace all of the parts. Now, if you do really wanna do that, go ahead and uh, print out all the Perusa parts uh, in ABS, especially, actually there's not too many of them, just these, a few. And you'll have to rebuild the printer. Um, or my recommendation is put it in uh, like a closed room or a small room or closet uh, where the air doesn't get so hot. So there is still enough air here where it doesn't get to be like, you know, like 70 degrees and 80 degrees, um, 60 degrees Celsius in here. All right, which allows you to print ABS, and this is actually ABS carbon, uh, carbon fiber mixed with ABS, uh, fine without breaking your printer down. All right, so this way you can print it, uh, ABS, and also do wear, do wear some protection because this this stuff, guys, is is really bad for you. So when I'm even, um, I, I enclose this whole place with stuff, like this is like airtight and I've got a vent that's pulling all of the air out, the air is not going back out. And whenever I come in here, I wear my mask. Um, make sure your mask works. Don't wear one of those cheap, cheap, cheap old masks. Get the KF94 mask. They're good for COVID and this kind of stuff or you can get real serious and get the respirator. but. This should be fine. Just make sure you're wearing mask around ABS uh, or any kind of um, high temperature material. Or actually, I wear mask all the time on all kinds of material. Now, so how did I solve warping? Um, I set the bed heat much, much higher. I set it at 105, starting in 110 when I'm actually uh, after the first layers, and I just put a small uh, layer of glue stick. So I put it all over glue stick. Um, uh, you'll have to clean it up, just, just take the whole plate out. The good thing with Perusa's is you got a removable plate. You can just go ahead and wash it after. Um, and I do actually recommend the uh, stainless, uh, the smooth sheet. You can go ahead and use this too, but it's just going to be, I don't know, I haven't actually, I, I think I tried it, but uh, these stick a lot better, just in general with, with all, all kind of uh, stuff. Now when you take them out, um, if you get stuck, Use iso, iso alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, right? I always have this, I use this for PETG, I use this for TPU especially. You spray it on the bottom, on the, on the edges, and your stuff just comes right off without um, destroying it. But you can see I put just glue, and there's absolutely no uh, warping, All right, which is nice. Um, it's staying nice on the bed. Uh, I'm using... 0.3 millimeter layer height um, Not because I want to but I want to print faster 
Alright, I don't like printing too slow. Uh, for layer width, I'm using 0.55. So I can go kind of wide without losing too much resolution and I can also print fast. It feels like around 85 degrees right now here. All right, if it gets 85 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? If it gets 85 degrees Celsius, all your pet G stuff gonna start uh, going bad on the Prusa. So one word of caution, if you're printing uh, ABS, don't put, print it in an enclosed box. I print it in an enclosed room, right? Um, just if, you, if you, unless you want to replace your parts eventually. Uh, anyway, that's how you print ABS or high temp materials, carbon fiber on your Perusa. Um, and as far as, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Have a great day.